Good morning, friends. Another day in the Arizona desert. Oh, we got a hummingbird. Oh, he took off. Hey, after a couple of days of rain, all of a sudden, the desert is green again. Check that out. Let's see if we can get a better picture. Look at how green it is out there. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. My day starts with coffee, as you already know. And in the RV, we make coffee the night before and put it in a thermos. And the red cup is to keep flies off my cup. And I like my coffee really, really hot. So, I pour it in this skillet, and I heat it up for a little bit. I spent an hour yesterday cleaning the stove, so now it looked brand new, and now I spilled coffee because I'm doing this one hand with a camera in the other hand. My day starts out with coffee, of course, and watching the news on my iPad. And that takes about 20 minutes. And it starts my day off with something to think about. Uh... Fortunately, there have been better things to think about for the last couple of days, but let's not go there. Uh, when we go for our walk, you can see that we've moved. We didn't move far. We moved uh, about a mile. Uh, we're still out by Skadden Wash, east of Quartzsite, Arizona. I've figured out that one of my new neighbors is an interesting guy. Check this out. Hi, Gunner. Hey, how's it going? So, this is my new friend Gunner, and Gunner is doing something interesting. <laughs> Gunner does wildlife photography, and he travels around in his RV and makes videos, and he's starting a new YouTube channel. You want to tell us what you're going to put in it? Sure. Um, so basically, I uh, go up to the Grand Tetons in the Yellowstone area, and um, I film wildlife. Um, and specifically, I uh, follow uh, a grizzly bear, uh, commonly known as uh, 399. Um, last season, um, she came out of hibernation with four cubs, and so I started filming them. Um, and you took pictures of these, and you have the most amazing picture. And I'm going to show them the picture right now while we're talking about it. Sure. You can keep telling us about the bears. These are four cubs. Notice they're all looking the same way. The longer you look at this picture, the better it gets. So, Gunner, how long did it take you to sit there and wait until all four bears got in the right place? Well, that particular day, which was, that was uh, May of last year, uh -huh. um, they, the bears had appeared and we were shooting, I, I would say probably we were there a couple hours. And then the mama, mama's a big grizzly. Sure, she's a yeah. 24-year-old grizzly bear. Uh, grizzlies, roughly, they live up to about 25, 30 years. So she's probably elderly. And you have a lot of footage of these bears, yes. including the mom, and it's on Wildlife Patrol, Gunner's new YouTube channel. Check it out. I'll put some links below to get you to Wildlife Patrol on YouTube. Um, all the people that we were with kind of left and went separate directions, so 
we weren't ready to move. We're hanging around this area waiting for something. And what we're waiting for is for our son to make some progress on uh, looking at property down by Tucson. So we may just drive the Jeep down there to look at the property with him. He's looking for a house and a guest house and a place that he can um, house his business as well. And uh, we don't want to drive the motorhome down there, but we will drive the Jeep down there and meet him and look at the property with him. But uh, a bunch of our friends went 75 miles north to Havasu, and we don't want to go another 75 miles away from where uh, our son will be looking at property, so we're just kind of sitting here waiting. Our other choice was to follow some other friends down towards Yuma again and Senator Wash. We really love that place. Uh, I, I like Yuma. I love Senator Wash. It's very beautiful and it's quiet and it's one of our favorite spots in Arizona. Anyway, we decided to just sit here for a while and see how that situation develops. I have to tell you that although it's always a struggle to find something to make a YouTube video about, in my new commitment to actually do this again, um, I'm enjoying the challenge. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try something different on our walk today. I have this Zen Yun Smooth 4 uh, gimbal for your phone. And um, it works very well. Uh, some of the videos I've made, it has smoothed it out when I'm hiking, like in the mountains of Mexico. But uh, I have this other new little camera. It's a GoPro knockoff, sort of. And I'm going to put that in here, and it's not really made for it, so all of the special controls won't control the camera, but this has fairly good stabilization, and this, of course, makes things even more smooth, so I'm going to try that on our walk. The camera, unfortunately, is terrible in the wind, picks up the wind noise terribly, so I'll either be doing uh, voiceovers or some music for you as we go for a walk today. Let's go. No fly zone. Well, every walk should have a destination and a purpose. Well, as predicted, the wind noise in that camera is just terrible, so let's just talk as I watch the video with you. I started to say, every walk needs a purpose and a destination. Purpose, of course, is to get some exercise, and the second purpose is to make a video. That was a 360 of our new camp. This is a dog, a big German Shepherd. It's very friendly, although his name is Danger, and he's playing with a stick there. Uh, I met him unexpectedly. <laughs> Every walk needs a purpose and a destination. So my destination is going to be that big saguaro cactus out there. I love these morning walks in the desert. Uh, not just for the exercise, but the crunch, crunch, crunch of the rocks underneath my feet sort of help to clear my mind and focus myself for the day. It's quiet. It's wonderful. Oh, what's this? But... No, that's not paint.
That's turquoise. Huh. There will be those who wonder why I left that big, beautiful piece of turquoise laying in the desert all by itself. Well, it was only on the surface of that big rock. The piece you'd really want was the piece that came off of it. So, nothing lost, nothing gained. Onward bound to the big saguaro in the desert. Big dog barking over there. Yeah, well, hopefully it's uh, friendly or leashed. Well, we're approaching our destination for our walk today, and perhaps there's a lesson to be learned here. It's not a big, impressive saguaro. The lesson is that it wasn't about the destination. It's always about the journey. Messing with time and space here. Well, let's go this way for a while. A question I get quite often is why do I spend my winters in the north and my summers in the south? The north for us being um, Arizona, which is way north of the middle of old Mexico, where we spend our summers. The reason is mostly the weather. And it's not the weather here in Arizona it's that we love the weather in Ajijic, Mexico, on the north shore of Lake Chapala in the summertime. Big, dramatic thunderstorms and lightning. It rains at night and the tropical sun burns the clouds off in the morning. So by 10 a.m. it's bright and sunny and clean. But we're at 5,200 feet, so it's an alpine altitude and a tropical latitude, and that makes it like springtime. Never gets too hot. The humidity is low. So we love the summers in Ajijic, Mexico. That's the point. So if we're going to RV, it's not going to be in the summer. And there's another reason. Of course, it's cooler in Arizona during the winter. We certainly wouldn't be up here in the summertime when it's 118 degrees in the shade. So, it's a matter of our physical comfort and the temperatures that we have to deal with to make that happen. And it's not only the physical comfort of the ambient temperature of the place that we're in. It's also the comfort of our electrical requirements in the motorhome. We would much rather run the diesel furnace than the air conditioners. And that's not just about the comfort of our bodies, it's about the comfort of our electrical requirements with our solar power and the generator, it's much more efficient to run a furnace than it is to run an air conditioner to maintain that 70 degrees we all chase. Honda 90. Whoa, look at that pile of wood. Somebody's gonna have a fire. I hope I can get a picture of this bicycle at night. It is totally decked out with lights. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, I've seen it go past in the night, but I haven't gotten my camera out fast enough. It's made by the same people as the moon. Um, I'll get a picture of the moon for you at night, too. Both of those things are... Um, of some note and fame from Burning Man. 
Well, thanks for going for a walk with me today. I'm going to go in here and sit down, do some editing, and make some breakfast. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.